quarantine bodies. So going back to a pre-quarantine body means that um, we want to get back into all of our amazing in clothes that we're going to be wearing all summer long. And um, I have a diet that I have been doing now for 15 years, which I think is an amazing diet that you guys may love. Um, it works if you do it correctly. It does work 100% of the time. Um, you can't cheat, but I just feel like right now, because there are no parties happening, um, you're not compelled to eat things that you don't want to or that you're tempted. So, I mean, if you're in your own home, you can control what you're eating, control what you're drinking. And I think 10 days is a piece of cake to start controlling your food um, intake and your alcohol intake so that we can get back to our pre-quarantine bodies and we can wear all those amazing Indian clothes that we love to wear. We can show our stomachs and show our arms. Um, so for those of you who have great bodies and have just gained a little weight, this is something amazing. Um, and for those of you who have gained a lot of weight, whether it was now during quarantine time or it was um, earlier, because you know one of the hardest things, one of the hardest things that we face is um, trying to get rid of that old stubborn fat. And, you know, we think that we can just exercise it off. And, you know, you guys, it's 80% your diet, 80% diet and 20% exercise. So yes, exercise is very, very important because we want to keep our bones, bones moving. We want to keep our bodies strong, but to lose weight, it's all about what you eat. So I am going to teach you guys today a diet that can help you loosen the stubborn fat in your body so that way you can actually get in the process of starting to lose because i know there are so many diets that you guys try there's so many things you just start eating healthy of course you feel lighter but you don't get as light as you need to be so to get the process started of losing weight this is a trick which i've learned i've been doing this trick for 15 years i used to do it once a year I did this trick for 10 days once a year, and I did it for many, many years. And in the last few years, as you guys know, you guys saw me all gain weight because I was eating and drinking like crazy, and I was not doing my diet once a year. Now, this diet, you can do this diet once a month for 10 days. So I don't know where this diet came from. It came to me from a friend 15 years ago. We call it the Ruby diet. It's the famous Ruby diet. And... Um, I have really learned what foods work and what they don't. And, you know, as new foods come into trend, I can also tell you what to do um, to substitute and what things don't work. So first I'm going to show you, this is the food groups that you are allowed to eat. So we have group one, two, three, and four. This is the food groups that you're allowed to eat. And after this is over, you guys, if you guys can, or even now, Inbox me your email address and I will send you the charts and I will send you tips and instructions of how to use the diet. So first of all, in group one, this is all the fruits that you're allowed to eat. Now, what I have realized is that they have mango on here. Note that there's no banana in this diet. There's absolutely no bananas. No bananas allowed. Um, mango is in there. I don't really recommend that you eat too much mango. I know that the season is coming and a lot of you love it, but um, mangoes are very high in fat. So, I mean, one time if you eat mangoes, that's great. I prefer to stick to the berries. I try to really stick to the berries. Um, the blueberries, the blackberries, the strawberries, apples and oranges um, are amazing. I try to stick to these, but if there's other things that you like, you're definitely welcome to use them. Now, in group two, group two is your proteins. Now, for those of you you who are not vegetarian, um, you can eat a catfish, a red snapper, a salmon, a sea bass, uh, a filet of sole, a flounder. You can even have lobster. Now, again, lobster is high in fat, but if you really want to have it, you know, and you're a lobster person, you can eat it. Tuna salad. Tuna salad, if made correctly, is a great thing to eat. Um, then for those of you um, who are who like to eat chicken, of course you can eat chicken. You can eat chicken any way you want it. Um, they say you should have a roasted chicken. Now that's just for people who um, are not looking for a variety. My advice is that you also, you try to eat tandoori chicken. Tandoori chicken is amazing. That's something that really works. Um, it says lentils and garbanzo beans. So for those of you that know me, I'm the famous chole queen. 
I love to make Indian style garbanzo beans. And um, there is a way, and I do have a recipe for you um, of how to make garbanzo beans um, that actually work for the diet. Um, and then the lentils, when they say lentils, if you guys remember, um, lentils are, uh, it's yellow dal. It's the proper mung dal, the yellow dal that we eat um, that is low in fat and very, very good for us. American people um, here, we, we eat it um, as a soup, a lentil soup. Um, and then Indian people, we like to put the onions and tomatoes, like a tharka is what you call it. Um, and we like to make it a little bit fancy. You've got to keep it a little bit plainer, but you can still do the onions and tomatoes um, in a, uh, that are fried in, in olive oil, in an extra virgin olive oil. Um, so, so for those of you have, who have just joined, we are talking about the Ruby diet. I'm going to put the chart back up because these are the foods that you are allowed to eat um, for 10 days. Here's the chart again. Um, so it talks about egg salad, tuna salad. Um, for those who are vegetarian, eat eggs. That's great. You have to use a low fat or a no fat mayo um, in this. It can't be the full fat, only two, te only two teaspoons of it. Um, you can have scrambled eggs. You can have an omelet. You can do just egg whites. I do just egg whites because um, I find them, I find them more um, or less less heat comes inside of me. I tend to break out when I have too much, um, too many eggs. And I eat five egg whites, you guys. I do them as a um, as an omelet, and I do it with cheese. Um, it shows that you can have cheese slices. Now for cheese slices, um, things have changed a little bit. They have the, the baby bell, the little baby bell cow cheeses. Um, they also have the, um, they have the little triangle cheeses that come in a circle. That is definitely something that you can eat. Um, I guess if it's a processed cheese, unfortunately, you can eat it if it's a real cheese, like a mozzarella. Um, but you pretty much have to stick to those because then the cheeses become higher and higher in fat. So we have to stay away from the cheeses that are higher in fat. Um, let's go back to our, our, oops, that's just the food groups. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Um, you can eat roast beef slices. Um, I think that it's safe to eat a steak if it's made at home, if you really have to have it. If you don't, turkey slices, you can get the non-GMO um, non-hormonal turkey slices, or you can get ground turkey and you can make ground turkey just with whatever spices you want and have that. It's really good. Sausage, sausage links is on there. I don't advise it. It's very, very high in fat. Bacon strips, I also don't advise. I would have to say stay away from them for 10 days because they are so high in fat. Now you have options for nuts. Um, they have Brazil nuts, cashew nuts, peanuts, pistachios, macadamia nuts, almonds, um, and cashews. So I like to do cashews, almonds, peanuts, um, and I like walnuts. Peanuts are the most convenient for most of us to eat, but you can only eat like a handful, um, probably a handful of any of the nuts. Walnuts tend to be um, the best ones, but only a handful again because they have some nutritional value. Um, almonds are great. Um, for those people who like to soak them in them, that's fine. If you just like to eat them like that, that's fine. Um, try not to get the salted ones if possible, or lightly salted. Um, if you have to have salt, no problem. Just lightly salted would be great. Gr uh, food, the food group number three, that's your veggies that you can eat. It's quite, um, explanatory. It is spinach, squash, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, cucumbers, um, garlic, pickles, turnips, cabbage, cauliflower, asparagus, celery. These are all very good things to eat. Um, I tell you with this diet, um, cauliflower, I loved doing the cauliflower Indian style, making it Indian style and eating it. Um, it's very, very satisfying. I would use it inside in my salads, cauliflower in my salads. Um, very, very good. Um, but cauliflower does cause a lot of acidity inside your system. So don't have don't like eat it three times a day. Once a day is more than enough. Um, and as you see with this diet, the quantities will lessen. Um, you will lessen them yourself because there is no portion control. You can eat as much as you want with this diet, but you got to eat every two hours, six times a day, and you can't break it. So let's go to 
the food groups um, and how it works. So for day one, you see your six meals and it tells you what to take from each meal. So from group one, okay, so for those of you who just joined, I know a few people joined, this is the Ruby diet and I'm showing you a 10 day diet and how to eat your food groups. Now the food groups, for those of you who would like me to email you these charts and some tips and instructions, um, just inbox me your email address and write, send me the diet and I'll go ahead and send it to you right after this is over um, with the instructions on how to do the diet. This diet works 100% of the time if you do it correctly. And it is a great way to lose old stubborn fat. It just sort of loosens it up so that you can start losing weight any way that you want to because I know many, many of you have this problem where you're trying to lose weight and you're eating healthy, but you just can't let the the, the weight is just not going. And it's just because the older the fat, the harder it is. It just becomes harder and harder in your body and it's harder and harder to lose. So this just helps you lose the old fat so that you can start losing weight. It's just, it's a great way to make you feel better. Now here's the groups. In group one, it tells you to eat, like for example, it'll tell you to eat two from group one. So as we know, group one is our, our fruits. You can choose any two fruits. You can choose blueberries and strawberries. You can choose blueberry and apple, apple and orange, any two fruits. And again, bananas is not on the group and you cannot, cannot eat bananas at all in this diet. Um, mangoes, very little mango, be, just because it's high in fat, but if you love it and you have it and it's coming in season now, um, soon if it's you know something that you just want to eat just eat less of it just for taste but it's definitely okay i do recommend again the berries if possible now it shows you that you can have two fruits three times in in the first page uh for the first day it tells you to eat fruit three times so you have to eat fruit three times you can choose to eat the same two fruits all three times or you can eat um, different fruits. It just depends on if you need variety or not. Then it tells you to eat three from group three and one from group two, which means you eat three vegetables, choose three vegetables and choose a protein. So you can choose to eat chole. You can have garbanzo beans, Indian style. If you are a vegetarian or you can eat dal, you can eat lentils if you're a vegetarian. Um, or you can have, you can have nuts or you can have cheese. Then you have to choose three vegetables. So go to your vegetable section. What does your vegetable section show? Your vegetable section gives you many, many options. You can do lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers along with your protein. You can do um, something like mushrooms, onions, and bell peppers. You can do sauteed um, along with your, um, your dal or your chole, your lentils or your garbanzo beans. Um, there's so many different options. I can I can name you options all day long. If you want to have hot or you want to have cold, depending upon what you are having during, um, you know, what what time it is. Is it lunchtime? Is it dinner time? Are you used to eating cold things during lunch? Are you used to cold, eating cold things during dinner? If you're eating non-veg, you can have a piece of fish with a salad, lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers. But the trick is you can't add extra things. You cannot add cranberries or you cannot add nuts. If you're going to put nuts in your salad, that is your protein. So you have lettuce, to, tomato, and cucumber, and you've put almonds. That's your protein. Those are the four things that you're allowed to eat for that meal. So there are so many options for the meal, but the mistake that people make is that they tend to add um, in their meals, they tend to add extra things. Oh, I just added some cranberries for taste, or oh, I just cut some apples and put them in my salad. Or, oh, I have this dressing. Well, you can have a low fat dressing anytime, but it has to be low fat or no fat um, dressing, and it has to be light. So for those of you who just joined, again, this is the Ruby diet, and these are the six meals that you have to eat each day for 10 days. You will definitely, if you follow this perfectly, you will lose somewhere between six and eight pounds in 10 days, and it does work. I happened to just finish the diet. I lost four pounds because I cheated. I had, I drank some vodka and on day eight, instead of keeping to my proteins and my veggies, I mixed them and you just cannot do that. So I just got a little tempted. I, I cheated, but even after cheating, you guys, even after a little cheating, I still lost four pounds, which I think is great. And then after the diet was over, I still I, I've just finished it a few days back. I've lost another pound and a half since then, maybe two pounds. I've lost another two pounds since then, just because I'm watching what I eat. Um, you can 
do this diet once in a month, the first 10 days or the middle 10 days, then you have to wait for 20 days before you can do this diet again. So you can do this diet once a month, um, but in between for 20 days, you cannot do this diet again. Now you see the six foods that you can eat, the six times you have to eat, you have to eat every two hours. So what it, depending upon what time you start, say you start at 10 a.m. and your first meal is 10 a.m. and you do, it'll say uh, two from group two. My first meal is always my egg whites and cheese. That is very, very satisfying. I do five egg whites, you guys, five. I do five egg whites and um, let's go back to here and I do cheese. And what I do is I put a cheese slice in between and I melt it. You can also do shredded cheese. You can have cold cheese on the side if you want, or if you want to do eggs and you want to do um, beans, you could do pinto beans on the side or navy beans or baked beans. Just depends on what you like to have. Or, I mean, if you're just absolutely want to have eggs and meat, you can do um, your, your, your eggs with chicken or you can do eggs with um, maybe a bacon, you know, a slice of bacon, um, which is not so recommended because bacon is high in fat, but maybe you could do a turkey bacon or you could do some turkey slices. Sausage links are written here. You can have the sausage links, but I definitely don't recommend it. Um, if you just have to have it, a sausage link would work and do turkey. Now back to our um, menu. Now you can write down all the different foods you have to eat. You have to, eat, if you start at 10 and you're finished eating by 10, 30, you still have to eat at 12. And then if you start at 12 and you're finished by 12, 15, you still have to eat at two. So food has to go into your mouth, start going into your mouth every two hours. So every two hours you're going to eat. And um, you the, the trick here is you can switch the order of the food. So say it shows you that you have to eat fruit first or protein first. No, if you want to eat your three veggies and your um, your protein first. You can start with that. You can start with anything. You have to eat all six meals. And then after you're done eating your six meals, if you're still awake and two hours later, you're hungry, you ha you can only eat proteins. You can eat two proteins and you can continue to eat it until you go to bed. Now, I guarantee you that if you end with proteins, you will not be hungry at night. But if you are, you can throw a piece of cheese and a, and a couple of nuts in your mouth and that should satisfy you. But after your six meals, you can only eat proteins. Now, going to day two, day three, day four, there are, you'll see where it says on day three or day two, it says four from group three, four from group three. It also shows you two from group four. Two from group four means you can choose two of anything that you, you want to eat. Generally, when I have an, an, an option to do two of group four, I always choose two fruits because I'm always looking for something sweet to eat. So two from group four means anything you want. You can choose one from group one, one from group three. That's your two items. Um, you can choose one veggie, one fruit, one veggie, one protein, but it's only one and one. You cannot mix. So if you're starting to get late or you're realizing that means that you need to plan your food a little bit better. Um, if you think you're going to be in the car, make sure that you have something in your purse that you can throw in your mouth, just a handful of nuts and just one piece of cheese that will handle your food. And what you'll find is the biggest thing is people are really worried about the proportions and how much they're eating. No, you're going to eat less and less and less according to how full your body is, because depending upon how much you're eating for meal one, or meal two, you may not be very hungry for meal three. So you have to eat your meal, but you just eat less. So your portion control depends on you. Um, and as you decrease your proportions and you eat more often during the day, you'll find eventually your stomach will start shrinking and you will be hungry more often. You'll be hungry more often and you will eat more often, which keeps your metabolism going stronger and stronger. You want that faster metabolism. And then it will make you um, eat less every time because your stomach is smaller. And that is the key. That is the key to losing weight. Now, as you go through the days, as you see, you go day eight and day nine, day seven, day eight, sorry, day seven and day eight are the most crucial. There is absolutely no mixing of proteins or veggies. You have to eat them separately and you have to eat the number of veggies and the number of proteins that it's telling you. So it never tells you to eat more than two proteins together um, just because that's a lot of protein and mixing a lot of proteins just sort of confuses your body. But it does tell you sometimes to eat three vegetables, four vegetables or five vegetables together. So if you have to eat five vegetables together, hey, have a salad or you can do a salad and then you can do some 
sort of cauliflower, something hot on the side. These sort of things really work. Um, you'll really find yourself very light by day three. You'll feel very light and you'll feel better. Your energy starts to increase. And then after day eight, you'll see that you're starting to lose weight. Seven and eight, day seven and eight, there is absolutely no fruit. So it's a little bit challenging. But when you cannot eat fruit on day seven and day eight, um, you'll see it's a little bit hard, but all of a sudden when you get on that scale and you start losing weight and you start seeing that your pants are fitting, it is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, by day 10, by day 10, you should have lost a minimum of six pounds if you've done this correctly. If you have questions, you can always message me um, uh, on Facebook. You can always message me or you can always inbox me or you can email me. The best thing to do is email ruby at silkthreads.com. You can email me questions or if you're going to make something particular or you're about to eat something in an hour, you've got to give me a little bit of time to see my messages. But if you want to eat something, um, do let me know that you're going to eat this or you want to eat this. Is this allowable? Now, there are some things I don't recommend. Um People like to make do lots of spins on things. Oh, I can have dal roti. Well, it's dal atta. It's lentil uh, flour, and then they're making bread out of it. The answer to that is no. Um, the simpler the food, the easier it is for your body to digest and understand what it's eating. This is about the combinations of the foods, putting them together, um, and forcing your body to loosen the fat so that you will um, you will make your body easier. It makes your body easier to lose it. Again, I'm going to show you guys the food groups and I will email this to you. Just inbox me on Facebook, um, your email address and write, please send me the diet. I'm going to send you the diet. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, you can always ask me, can I eat this or should I eat this together? Or yesterday, I think I made a mistake and I ate this and I will answer your questions for you because you guys, this diet does work. So here's your different food groups and the things you're allowed to eat. Now, another thing which I added to my diet was avocado because, you know, when I learned this diet 15 years ago, there was no avocado. I mean, we had it, but it was not so much in vogue. So if you like to eat avocado, um, definitely in this diet, when you're mixing it and you say you're doing five veggies, I would say not more than a third or 50 grams of avocado just because of the fat content and I know it's good fat but right now we're trying to lose fat so if you like to have avocado and you want to put it as part of your diet maybe have avocado every other day not more than a third of a large avocado which is approximately 50 grams so for those of you who have um I'm not able to see questions hold on let's see do you guys have any questions? How much water do we need to drink during this diet? Nubby, great question. How much water should you drink? Um, I have made it a habit to drink um, just generally what I, I've learned is that to keep your body clean and smooth moving, you take your weight. Um, say, for example, you weigh 130 pounds. You take half of that and that's what you need to drink in ounces. So if you're 130 pounds, half of that is 65. You need to drink 30. You need to drink uh, 65 ounces of water. Hey, Ronnie, I see my cousin, my famous cousin from California. I'm teaching how to do this diet and I want you guys all to do this diet. Navi, I know you don't really need to do this diet, but um, this is great for the future. Um, you need to drink 65 ounces. And you know, during this diet, I would have to say, I don't want you to drink more water than you need to. And I know that's weird, but because we're going through a system and we're trying to help you lose stubborn fat, I really don't think that you guys need to drink 20 glasses of water. Um, you know, they say eight glasses of water is good. And that's approximately what you're going to end up drinking. Um, I like to drink 16 ounces in the morning straight 16 ounces of water they say you should drink 32 ounces of water in the morning first thing before you put anything in your mouth and don't eat for 30 minutes i really like that and i really feel like it works i like to put lemon in my water or lime um putting lemon or lime in your water in the morning is very very effective your water should be room temperature um if you can handle 32 ounces i'm up to 16 ounces right now i'm drinking i drink a huge 16 ounce bottle um, yes, you can have your daily, your daily dose of multivitamins. I would definitely never, ever stop the vitamins. That's your energy. And that is the way that we make sure 
that as we get older, we are getting enough um, of the right vitamins inside our body, um, especially during this pandemic time, we want to make sure that we are as healthy as possible and we're keeping our immunity up. So if you're taking a normal um, daily vitamin, you're taking a B12 or you're taking a vitamin C, um, you're taking probiotics, please um, continue to take your vitamins. Um, during the day, I try to drink some water here and there as much as I can so I can get to my number of ounces, 65 or 70 ounces or whatever it is that I need to drink. And then at night, just before going to bed, I warm up one mug of water, approximately eight ounces. Um, I warm it up to make it almost like tea. And then I squeeze lime into it, lemon or lime. And I just sip it like tea while I'm watching television or I'm reading a book or whatever it is I'm doing before um, you go to bed. These two, drinking the, the lime or lemon water in the morning and then drinking it at night, makes a huge difference in your digestion. So as we are losing stubborn fat, the fat that's been with you for years and you just can't get rid of it, especially on you know on your waist, on your love handles, or the fat on um, your stomach that just doesn't go. Maybe your limbs, your, a lot of people I've seen, their arms and their legs are skinny, but their, their, mid, their midriff just isn't going. Or maybe their thighs are just really, really big and it's just not going. Um, I've had big thighs all my life, larger thighs. But I have found that when I do this diet, it really um, smooths out my thighs. I don't know if I've really lost weight on my thighs, but those, the, just those little ugly things on the legs, my legs just smooth out and my legs look so much better after I do the diet. By day 10, I can see a difference in my legs. And you know, our legs are everything, you guys. So, um, and then, you know, on my arms, um, my arms are, they've, tend to get, they've tended to get a little bit larger, but it does, help you lose weight on your arms. I'm doing a little five pounders while I'm watching television and I do just the five pounders just for five minutes each arm. Um, but I found that with this diet, it really does make sure that as my body is losing weight, the stubborn fat on your arms is also going. So very, very important. Um, any other questions, you guys? Um, send me your emails and I'm going to send you guys a copy of the diet. So inbox me your email. Um, I'm trying to think what else I can answer for you guys. I've gone through the diet. I'm gonna, I'm, I wanna just go back really quick to the diet to show you guys again. These are your food groups, one, two, three, and four. For those of you um, who just need to lose a little bit of weight, um, this is also great. It's just, maybe you can start do five days and then you don't complete. If you're just trying to lose two or three pounds, you will with this. Um, some rules to remember is that never ever should you eat fruit on a full stomach. Um, that's just a big no-no just for the rest of your life. Do not eat fruit on a full stomach and try not to eat more than two fruits. You know how tempting it is when you see a huge fruit place and there's strawberries and blueberries and raspberries and then they have apples with cinnamon on it and they have pineapple and they have all sorts of things. Never eat your fruit on a full stomach and never eat more than two fruits at a time. So when you see a beautiful plate and you go out, choose two fruits and do not eat them on a full stomach. So a lot of people like to eat their dinner and then have fruit for dessert. Um, that's probably not a good thing to do. Um, and I know that sounds weird, but I would rather have a piece of very dark chocolate just a small piece of very dark chocolate for those people who have to have sweets after dinner. When you are done with dinner, if you have to have something sweet, either you have to wait an hour or an hour and a half to eat your fruit, or you need to eat like just a small piece of dark chocolate. We all know a small piece of dark chocolate is actually good for you. Now you cannot do this during the diet, during the 10 days of the diet, you need to stick to the six meals. You can every day, you can change the order of the six meals. I suggest that you write down all the meals and you write down what you like to eat. And it's different for everyone. If you need more help and you want me to choose, make your meals for you, um, I will charge you for that, a nominal charge, but I will spend hours with you and I will make sure that all 10 days you are, know exactly what you're supposed to eat and when I'll make your life quite easy. So if you guys really want, if you're very serious and you need to lose weight and you need to lose the old stubborn fat, then just email me, message me, call me, write on this group. It doesn't matter. And I will contact you and we will figure out 
I mean, I'll just spoon feed you how to do the diet and I'll spoon feed you for 10 days. And after the 10 days, I will tell you what your should and shouldn't are. are. And I would say after um, your 10 day diet, if you diet for 10 days and you do it properly, even if you mess up just a little bit after the diet for at least one week, let's not go back to pizza guys. Do not eat pizza. Um, try not to eat too much bread. I mean, if you have to eat a roti or you have to eat, make sure it's wheat, make sure you're just eating like a little piece once every once in a while. So for a week after, just eat healthy if you can. Um, you'll see that you may lose one or two more pounds in the next week if you eat really, really healthy. Um, just because you have broken down the fat. So when you're breaking down fat, for those of you who have just joined us, I know there are more people who have joined us. Um, I'm going to show you guys the food groups again. These are the four food groups um, of foods that you can eat for 10 days. And then here is the food chart um, of how to eat those foods. It tells you to look at the different groups and you can look at the meals and then you can change the order of the meals. But on day one, you've got to eat all of those meals and you can't add or subtract anything. If it tells you one from group two, which is your meat or your protein, um, and one from group four means one anything, you just get to choose two things. You cannot add. Now, one more thing interesting that I have realized is that one of the food groups um, in, in the vegetarian food group is onions. What I have found is that you can add a small amount of onions to almost anything. And it doesn't really matter. Like um, even if you're having, for example, three veggies and you do a little bit of onion sauteed or you have onions in as part of the mix, um, it doesn't affect it. So that onion is almost negligible. You can put onions in almost anything and it's okay to do. So that's very important um, also for you to know that I have found that during this, that there is no problem eating onions. As far as um, the fruits are concerned, you do not want to take your fruits and make them into a juice. You do not want to use your juicer because there are certain things in the fruit that you do eat, like the skin um, or even in oranges, the little pieces, whatever, your body needs that. So you're not trying to extract anything out because when you do juices, you're extracting from the fruit. You are supposed to eat the fruit. So do make sure that you're not doing juices. You're only having fresh fruits for 10 days. Um, for the egg and the tuna salad, again, you can add onions, tomatoes, celery, um, mustard, low-fat mayo. Try not to add all of the above. Um, if you want to do a tuna salad or an egg salad for the deli meats, we want to stick to the ones with no GMO, with no hormones um, at all. You can roll them up and eat them. Um, that's how we do it when we're at like a dinner party or what, and, and there's like a, um, a meat tray. Um, when you, when you're having fish, you can obviously put lemon juice anytime. You can put seasoning salt. You can put any kind of spices that you like. You can put Cajun spices. You can put red peppers. You can put um, any kind of spices to make your fish taste good, as long as you're not mixing any other kind of food with it. Um, let me see. Do we have any more questions? Um, you guys, let me look really quick. Okay, so it looks like we don't have any more questions. Um, if you guys do have any more questions, feel free to inbox me anytime. I will answer them. Send me your email address, everyone, so I can send you the diet. And then anytime you have questions, let me know. And if you need to be walked through the entire diet, I can actually walk you through all 10 days. Um, Hethel, the serving sizes for these foods. Okay, so there are there is no portion control rule in this diet. You do not need to portion control in this diet. When you have to eat six meals a day and say, for example, I had said this before, all right, you start at 12 o'clock. Your first meal is at 12 o'clock. If your first meal is at 12 o'clock, that means you're eating at 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 o'clock to cover all six meals. So when you're covering all six meals, um, you have to do it every two hours. So if you start eating at 12, meaning the first bite goes in at 12 o'clock, then you need to start eating again at two. So eventually what happens is you and you you realize that you're eating a you know you realize you're eating too much. So if you're eating too much, you yourself will portion control per your body. Because what we're doing is we want to shrink the size of your stomach eventually so that you cannot 
intake so much food and we want to break the stubborn fat which is sitting with you for years and years so you will eat at 12 and no matter how long it takes you if you're delayed on a phone call and it's taking you a long time to eat and you're not done eating until 12 30 you will st still eat at 2 p.m so at 2 p.m you see how hungry you are but you have to start eating again at 2 p.m does that make sense i hope that makes sense to you so what happens is if you're really really hungry and you didn't eat that much at your 12 12 p.m meal you're going to eat a lot more but then come 4 p.m you're going to again you're going to be um sort of full you're going to feel like you just ate and you really don't need any food but yes you do need food you absolutely need food you need to eat again um so then you eat less does that make sense you guys okay so if you don't have any more questions um thank you so much for tuning in i am super excited to see how many of you do the diet and I would love for you guys to pass this video on if you guys can please 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 share this video on your page so that people can watch this video and they can learn how to lose the stubborn fat and get back to their pre-quarantine bodies or pre 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 their 30s bodies or their 20s bodies um, and learn how to shrink your stomach and get rid of old fat that's been sitting with you for so many years and then after they watch the video they um, they can inbox me you in inbox me anytime and I will go ahead and send the diet to you with tips and a couple of recipes. If you need, you can say that you need recipes on certain things and some suggestions. I can do that for you too. I'll be happy to email all of that to you guys. And our next podcast is on Thursday at five. It's with Priya Tahim. She is a counselor and she's been counseling through this quarantine time. And we have some really interesting things that we're going to be talking about. Let me open my notes. Um, let me tell you what we're talking about. You guys are going to love what we're talking about because we're going to talk about quarantine sex. It's like amazing. Um, and then you guys can are free to ask Bria all the questions that you have. So um, she's somebody I've known for a really long time. We're going to talk about advice for parents with kids who are doing um, the social distancing learning and why you sh should not expect your children to have the same schedule that they had while they were in school. Um, and what that does to your children mentally. We're going to talk about um, managing to share your space 24-7 because kids still aren't going to school for another four months minimum. And um, how to keep active to ease depression and anxiety. Um, how to um, ease these feelings of uncertainty, which we all still have even as we go to um, regular life. We're still very uncertain about what we're doing. And then how to keep intimacy. Intimacy you know, with your partner while quarantined. So she's got some great ideas for you. I'm super excited. For those of you who are waiting to know about diet, watch this video again. Um, learn how to lose your your, your stomach, um, sh shrink your stomach, and um, lose old stubborn fat. And then we will see you this week on Thursday at 5 o'clock to talk with Bria Tahim. All right, you guys, take care. Bye-bye.